right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you a daily horoscope for Tuesday, the 7th of September, 2021. Hopefully everybody's been enjoying that Virgo new moon energy. I always like the Virgo new moon. It's a fresh set of eyes, good good kind of awakening energy uh, each year and, and, and a great time to set our destinations again, like we talked about yesterday, on what we want to accomplish what we want to finish, what we want to move toward. And if there's something in our lives that we need to change, and release and let go of, this is a great opportunity to do that and get really focused on where we're headed. Um, so today we've got the moon still moving through the later degrees of Virgo. And around 3 p.m. today, the moon's going to meet up with Mars and conjunct Mars at 25 degrees. Um, and the moon, you know, this is where, where we feel safe, our emotional safe space is going with change in the sign of Virgo. It's, it's being focused, it's being driven, uh, it's being practical, practical change. You know, this is about pruning, trimming our, our dead leaves, our dead branches off of ourselves so that next springtime we can blossom and we can bear greater fruit. You know, so it's just like, well, what aspects of ourselves do we need to release, do we need to let go of? Um, what aspects of ourselves do we need to focus on? Uh, and, and really say like, yes, this is the direction I want to go and this is this is what I want to bring my awareness to, what I want to bring my attention to. And Mars is all about action. So it's saying, yes, let's go in this direction. You know, it's like the circle with the, the arrows, like let's go in that direction. Let's make that happen. Let's see what this journey is all about. And, and the connection that it's making to Pluto, there's a lot, of, a lot of energy connecting with Pluto today. So this is, you know, it's like what started with this new moon, new beginning is getting kind of supercharged today uh, again with this huge aspects of action then pluto here about transformation all right pluto square to venus and libra what is this this is balance if i'm doing so much because i love you so much you know i'm gonna start losing sight of myself if i stop you know like look, this is a way to look at it if i if i you know if i have a a, a morning routine you know, I get up in the morning and I only allow myself five or ten minutes to, to rest or sleep in and get up and and start exercising or breath work or yoga or whatever it is. And and let's say my partner is just like, just rest in bed, rest in bed longer, longer. You know, what it, it could be anything. I'm just using this as an example. You know, uh, maybe this is a bad example. <laughs> but but it is, it's like by saying, you know, on occasions and compromising is wonderful and it's appropriate. But when we start saying, okay... Well, I'm doing this because I love you and I'm going to sacrifice part of my routine. I'm going to sacrifice part of my discipline, part of the nature that keeps me going. You know, the Capricorn energy is this, this constant continuation. You know, um, this is my daily practice. This is my daily life. This is what, why, what I have to do. So when we start putting things off or making compromises, because we love somebody or something so much, it starts to really play a heavy aspect in ourself. Another way we can look at this, let's say if you have a relationship with alcohol or marijuana or tobacco you know, that, that, that you're trying to separate yourself from or television or pornography or something and you can separate yourself. Let's say, you know, there's a part of you that might love this. There's a part of you that's just like, oh, I love my relationship with, with tobacco, with cigarettes, but it's like, but my, my lungs are being compromised. Maybe this is a better example. My lungs are being compromised. So this thing that I love is actually having a serious effect on me and my longevity, or again, my, my, daily, my daily life. So it's like something, we must find balance between this, something must change. So whether this is a thing, you know, an addiction or something that we're getting rid of in our lives, whether this is um, um, because we love somebody so much that we're willing to constantly step outside of what our yes or no should be, and that's that Virgo energy too. It's like, well, no, I wouldn't normally do this, but you know, because I love you and care about you, I'm going to make this compromise and go do this. You know, and it's just like the, the now Libra, you know, so Virgo is the decision making. Then Libra says, okay, would I do that again tomorrow? You know, I slept in today. I didn't. I, you know, I, I I cuddled with you. We made love in the morning. Sweet morning love. It's beautiful, wonderful. But. I missed my whole morning routine. I missed my, you know, I, maybe I had to and didn't get a chance to cook breakfast and I had to stop and get Starbucks on the way, you know. And that's fine. Can I do it tomorrow? Can I, can I do this every day? Maybe, again, maybe that not, might not be the best example. But we do this a lot and we do this a lot with people that we love. 
you know? So I'm just using an example. We do a lot for people that we love. And sometimes we do so, you know, it's just like when we're, when we bend and reach out and stretch for somebody else, this is when we become off balance. We have to be strong when we meet them. And we have to be strong in our boundaries. And that's what the square between Venus and Libra and Pluto and Capricorn is all about. This is like, you have to know your boundaries. You know, and it's not insensitive to be like, hey, I, I can't. I have to do this, you know. And at the same time, the balance is saying, don't be so rigid. Don't be so much in the daily routine that you never compromise and never sleep in and make sweet morning love. <laughs> you know, it goes both ways. This, this is a, a big balance today with, uh, with Pluto. And then we have Mercury as well making this connection with Pluto. So this is like, this is in our minds. This is in our communication. You know, and, and sometimes when we say, well, well, hey, you did this yesterday. Why can't we do it again today? Well, this means, well, I've got to communicate now my boundaries. I've got to communicate now what I feel comfortable with and what I don't feel comfortable with. And maybe things are changing, you know. Uh, we still have as well this grand air trine happening. You know, it's, it's an important one. And, and it's, it's almost loosening up here. And... Part of the energy is patience. Part of the energy, like we're talking about, is is knowing ourselves in the community. Um, part of this is where do we... It, it, it kind of goes to the same of what I was saying a moment ago, but it's not necessarily for people that we, you know, close loved ones, that Venus kind of energy, but like the community. You know, where are we... You know, FOMO. FOMO can be very real. You know, we're, we're in fear of missing out. Um... And it's just like, well, I want to go do, I want to go do, I want to go do this, I want to go do that, I want to be a part, you know, it's just the end of, uh, for here in north of, um, north of the equator, it's, it's the end of, of summer, you know, for my friends down under, this is uh, the beginning, you know, about to be the beginning of spring for you. So it's like, you know, I think people enjoy spring and summertime a lot, so it's just like, okay, we've got these last couple days or last couple of weeks here of summertime in, north, in, in the northern hemisphere. And um, I want to go, do, do, and do, and do. And again, when we're constantly going and chasing or seeking the thing outside of self um, to find balance or happiness within, we can be sacrificing so much of what we need to do for ourselves. You know, all of a sudden then we can look back at our lives and say, well, my laundry's been piling up. And now when I actually want to go out and do the really thing I really want to do, I don't have the clean clothes or, or whatever. I've got a pile of dishes or something like this. You know, so this is a lot about balance, balancing um, our relationships with ourself, our relationships with the community, our relationships with the other. And lastly, this is about knowledge, being patient with people who think or see things differently than us, because the whole world is full of different perspectives. And, 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 and to think that the whole world should have one perspective or your perspective is not realistic. It's not. And we have to be okay with that. You know, something I've, I've talked about on this channel before, like a lot of people are like, oh, I would love to meet an alien. It's like, you don't, do you meet your neighbor? Do you know your neighbor? Do you know the, the person that's of a different ethnicity, from a different background, a different culture that lives next to you? Would you be willing to go and, and invite them over for dinner or sit and have a, you know, a picnic or, or just, you know, it, it's like we're allowed, these differences are the beauty of life. And there's the diversity of life. And this is how we learn and grow from each other. And this is also how we figure out what we like and what we don't like. And, and finding that balance is extremely important in, in seeking the new information and, 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 and being okay with the community. And not allowing our differences to truly separate us. We all have beating hearts. We all breathe the same air. And, and it's, you know, and we got the moon about to move into the sign of Libra, you know right there it's like it's at midnight so but either way so you know 9 p.m for my my friends in la and you know the rest of the world you know where you're at so this is the end of our you know tuesday the moon's going to move into libra to, to start making its connections here with mercury and venus over the next couple of days so we're moving from this precise analytical uh, virgo mind you know there's a right and there's a wrong and then all of this Libra energy is just like, yeah, but we have to be willing to, to compromise. We have to be willing to give. And it's saying, well, how much do we compromise? How much do we give? Where do we bend? 
you know, where do we bend? If everybody's smoking crack, does that mean you want to smoke crack and compromise with them? Maybe not, you know? <laughs> it might be a hard example, but, you know, it's like, hey, maybe you just got, you know, you're uh, just quit drinking or quit smoking and your friends want to hang out with you and, and get together in the community and you love hanging out with your friends and sharing information and stuff. Maybe this is going to be too difficult right now at this time to be around all the people smoking or drinking. You know, maybe we have to take that time for ourselves to separate to make sure that we are strong, that we are disciplined, that we're not, um, that we're not, that when we bend to make those, you know, decisions, that we're we're still strong and grounded. So that way, when we go out into that that place of compromise, we don't topple over, we don't get pushed over or or swayed to do something that's beyond our boundaries. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, my friends. <laughs> Love you. As always, thank you for hanging out with me. I wish you enough on this beautiful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.